Hey friends, Chris Van Deviver here with Logic Pro Expert. And today I wanna to talk about my favorite new feature of the most recent update of 10.4, and that is Smart Tempo. Now I'm happy anytime Logic is updated. From the moment 10 came into existence till now, I've been very satisfied with all of the updates. And with 10.4, we've been introduced to vintage EQs, chroma verb, step effects, fat effects. It's been fantastic. But I believe Smart Tempo is a game changer for us Logic users. The way Apple has pitched Smart Tempo is that we are no longer beholden to the grid. Instead, you can record yourself playing an instrument without a click, and Logic will listen to that performance, analyze it, and adjust the tempo and grid to you. So you have a custom beat map for all the little variations of your humanity. This is amazing, but I see even more opportunity beyond that. To start with, I believe we can now warp audio just like an Ableton. This is Ableton's most celebrated feature. You just drag an audio file in, it adjusts to the project tempo, and you can just bend and stretch tempo at will and everything just locks in and works. And we can do that now. To accomplish this, we have to go to the project tempo settings and change it from keep to adapt. The tempo changes from blue to orange to let us know that Logic is now going to adapt to whatever we do. And I'm gonna drag in this drum loop here and we see Smart Tempo get right to work. We see that Smart Tempo has accommodated for all of the little variations in this drum performance. And we have a custom beat map now. Let's take a listen with the click. That's amazing. And from here, we can drag in other audio files, loops, whatever, and lock those in with this custom tempo. Just make sure to go to the project tempo settings and go back to keep to maintain this particular tempo. Otherwise, dragging other audio files in might change it in some way that you don't want. Also, head into smart tempo project settings and we wanna make sure to set our imported audio files to align on bars and beats. This will come in handy later. Okay, I'm gonna bring in the synth loop. Drop it right here. And let's take a listen. Let me make sure to not blow you away here. Let's take a listen to the two together. Incredible. And we can even adjust the whole project tempo for everything now. You just have to make sure to embed this custom project tempo back into the audio files in your project. Now, even though we derive this tempo from this audio file, I found that if you don't embed this back into the audio file, it just doesn't quite work out well. So we go to the file tempo editor, go to actions, adapt region tempo to project tempo and align down beat, and we're good to go. So I'll go into the, the tempo lane here, and I'm gonna select all the tempo nodes and drag this way up. Let's go to 150. Okay, let's take a listen. Or go in the other direction. Let's go down to 42. Amazing. And everything just works the way you want it to. So what if you want to go in the other direction? You want to not lock the project tempo to an audio file, but vice versa. Lock the audio file's tempo to the project tempo. Well, let's get rid of that synth, get rid of this region, get rid of all these variations, and we'll set it back to 120. Okay, that's where this is gonna come in handy to set imported audio files to align on bars and beats. So I have this project tempo setting on keep because I wanna maintain 120 BPM. Let's take that same drum track and drop it in. Now, I don't want to import the embedded tempo information, so don't import. Let's take a listen now. And this audio file has now locked into the project tempo. I can drag this way up. That's amazing. So there are other options beyond this. Let's switch to a different project. I have a hip hop song here that I'm writing with a friend. We're just in the demo phase. And I'm very happy with where things are at. It's like 90% MIDI, the vocals being an actual audio file but maybe I want the song to be a little slower or a little faster and I wanna test drive that, but I don't wanna re-record all the vocals at a different tempo. 
well, you don't have to anymore. Let's take a listen to the current tempo. Dear lay, who be ponying up? Talk about real change. Flash a stack of Jacksons, thinking tough man, will the underground new rage, yeah. Cool. So, just like in the last project, I'm gonna go into the file tempo editor for these vocals, and I wanna make sure to embed this current project tempo into the file. So adapt region tempo to project tempo and align down B again. Okay, we're good to go. Let's bring this down to, I don't know, let's bring it down by 10 BPM, 70. Dear lay, who be ponying up, talk about real. Or go faster, let's go to 80. Or actually 90. Dear lay, who be ponying up, talk about real change, flash is that. And yeah, the vocals sound a little phasey, but this is great for test driving different tempos and then coming to a conclusion of what the best tempo is. So even beyond that, I see another option. So Logic users have often hoped for an opportunity to be able to record a complex performance at a slower tempo. Just so you, it's a little easier, you can pay more attention and then speed it back up to the project tempo that you want and everything's locked in and everything's great. Well, we can do that now. I have a guitar track here that I've recorded. You know, not great, but let's just take a listen to what I got here. Okay, so I recorded this without a click and I've added a drummer track to go along with it. So this is the slow tempo that I've recorded at. Now let's take all these nodes and let's drag it right up. Uh, let's go to 170 maybe. And that sounds great. So I've taken this complex or at least complex for my particular hands and I've bumped it up to the tempo that I wanted at and I'm good to go. So I hope that was helpful to you. In summary, Smart Tempo offers way more than just locking the grid to your personal performance, which in and of itself is amazingly innovative, but you can lock audio files, loops, everything else to the project tempo, project tempo to the audio files, bend and stretch at will, however you wish. Thanks so much.